Welcome to another episode of Blonde in the Kitchen. Today we will be making traditional lamb plov. This dish is made with long grain rice topped with fork tender meat that was cooked in rendered fat with essential spices and three universally used ingredients for this dish, which are onions, carrots, and a head of garlic. The most popular version of this dish is made with lamb, but you can use chicken, beef, or even opt out of adding meat if you're vegetarian. To achieve fall apart fork tender meat, start by dry brining your lamb with kosher salt. When your salt is mixed in, let it brine for at least an hour while you prepare the rest of your ingredients. Julienned carrots are a popular cut for plov. Slice your carrots at an angle and stack the slices to make thin cuts. Julienned carrots are what make plov stand out visually compared to other rice dishes. Carrots are essential in plov because along with onion, they give the dish a subtle sweetness. In this recipe, we use three medium yellow onions. Cut your onion in half and thinly slice. They're going to be cooked in rendered lamb fat until they're golden. After the meat has dry brined, rinse off the excess salt and place the meat in a bowl with paper towel. The paper towel will soak up the excess water and it's ready to cook. It's important to wash your rice in cold water to remove any extra starch. We're using two cups of enriched long grain rice, but depending on the occasion, we'll use this type or basmati rice. Wash the rice until your water is completely clear and you're ready to cook. Traditionally, plov is cooked in rendered meat fat. We rendered half a cup of lamb fat and added a fourth of a cup vegetable oil. If you don't want to use rendered fat, you can substitute with another half a cup of vegetable oil. Place your lamb in the pot when it's nice and hot and let the lamb cook until all of the water is evaporated. You'll see here that there's no more liquid and the meat is starting to sear. Remove your lamb from the pot and add in your sliced onions. The good thing about using one pot for this dish is that all of the flavors build as you cook and add new ingredients. The onions are going to pick up flavors from the seared lamb and as they cook, the moisture from the onions will deglaze the bottom of the pot. Add the meat back to your pot over medium-low heat, give it a good mix, and to this we add one bay leaf and our spices. Bay leaf has an aroma that helps lighten up an otherwise heavy yet delicious rice dish. To this we also add two teaspoons salt, half a teaspoon coriander, one and a half teaspoons black pepper, one teaspoon sweet paprika, half a teaspoon celery salt, half a teaspoon turmeric, and our personal touch is that we like to add two teaspoons of our favorite soup consomme powder. The link to the soup consomme powder will be in the description box down below. Give the meat and onions a good mix so that all of the spices are combined and add your carrots to the pot. Cook them on low so that their flavor melds with the meat. And while they're cooking, we're going to poke one head of garlic. Poke each clove and let the garlic sit out for 10 minutes before adding it to the pot. After the carrots have cooked for about 10 minutes, it's time to add your rice to the pot. Because the meat has cooked with the onions and the spices and carrots, it will have lots of flavor and it will be fork tender after the rice has boiled. Keep the meat at the bottom of the pot and top with two cups of your rinsed rice. To this, we're adding three and a half cups of beef broth. Carefully add your head of garlic in the center of the rice and cover it with more rice so that it can spread its flavor throughout the whole dish. Go ahead and set the temperature to low and cover the pot with a lid. After 20 to 30 minutes of cooking, your plov will be done. Turn down the heat and place two pieces of paper towel over the rice. Fit it with a lid to soak up any extra moisture. Let the rice sit like this for 10 minutes and then remove the paper towel and your rice is ready to serve. Remove the garlic from the pot and set it aside to top your plate of rice. When serving, first add the rice to the bottom of your platter and then top it with the lamb. Because the rice was rinsed before cooking, it will be fluffy and the rendered fat will give it a nice texture. 
The lamb, after braising, will be juicy and fork tender, and I promise you, if you've never tried this before, then it will be your new favorite comfort food. If you do give this recipe a try, let us know what you think in the comment section down below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please let us know by giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. Yours truly, Blonde in the Kitchen.